What is going on YouTube? It is me, your boy Gerard Akeem, and I am back with another video. And as you can see from the title, I will be discussing how to get into the tech industry with no college degree. Basically how my tips, tricks that got me in the door and how I can stay afloat, how you can do it yourself and how easy it is. And basically I'm pretty sure you found this video because you have some interest in the tech field but just don't know where to start. So let me help you. Go ahead and continue the conversation. Um, so first off, um, a little bit of a backstory, not that you care, probably do care or don't care. Um, so before I even got into anything, I used to work for AT&T. Um, I did that for two years, doing sales, uh, working in the retail store. So doing that, I realized I didn't want to do that anymore. Um, it was fun at first. I wanted to do something a little bit more challenging. And I knew that um, the IT tech industry was really booming and big at the time. So I started doing some research, applying for jobs. Now, mind you, the jobs were applying for nine times out of 10, they wanted three to five years um, of experience and they wanted more so um, degrees as well, you know, in certain fields, so like computer science and blah, blah, blah. But moving forward, so basically I started working at um, Rex Hospital. So at the hospitals, I was a senior electronic image tech. So basically I worked in a radiology department. And in that position, my job was to, um, first in the beginning, I was just helping with images, pulling them for doctors and different doctors offices doing that. But of course that got boring. So that's what landed me into helping out um, carrying what we call like the PAX pager. So the PAX pager is anytime a radiologist calls the pager, basically meaning that he needs some type of assistance regarding his software, um, so basically, or hardware. So it's as is if he says like, hey, I'm trying to pull up a patient to do a dictation on, I can't pull it up, so I will go in, troubleshoot, you know, restart the computer, restart the program that he's using, making sure that additional things aren't running in the background that could prevent the program from running. Um, so my job was basically troubleshoot with him and just basically work side by side with him. Um, so that's when I worked in healthcare. So for the first, I wanna say about four, five, six, yeah, about four, four, five to six years of my um, background, I work in the healthcare field. So I did that. Um, that got bored. Um, there was no room for advancement at the time. So for me, when there's no room for advancement and I see that management or other levels within the company just want me to stay in a particular position and not move up, I'm out. So I got back on the job hunt and then I landed another position with the company called Allscripts. So Allscripts is a EHR PM company, um, healthcare company as well. Now Allscripts was the position that I got lots of on-job training on. So with Allscripts, um, that's kind of where I learned, got more into depth with SQL. Um, like I said, Allscripts is a, is a inter, basically with Allscripts, I was an interface support consultant. So my job was supporting the interface for the company. So the interface, I always tell people, is like the hub that information moves and it changes in between. So my job was to support that. Um, like I said, it'll be times where they call in and say, hey, I have this patient that didn't come over or it came over incorrect or there's something missing. So that's when I would go into um, SQL, SQL, whatever, whatever you want to call it. Um, I, people call it so many names. So within SQL, that's where a lot of my troubleshooting came into play. SQL... Basically, having that knowledge and knowing how to uh, write scripts, uh, write scripts, <laughs> write scripts um, to get the information that you need is very, very, very important. So that leads me into training. So one thing I will say that will be a good thing to look into is training. Um, I got my little sticky note because I didn't want to miss key bullet bullet points um so udemy is one that i would really really look into i still to this day use them um because i was trying to get into like the python learning that language at first um that was like my next goal to do because i never learned that i always want to be interested in it but udemy code academy and then youtube academy i don't know why i put youtube academy last because literally youtube was where i learned the intro or the beginning of SQL. Um, so SQL, I learned how to do like select statements, 
um, delete statements, update statements. I actually learned all of that on YouTube. So I would definitely check out some, um, I'll definitely put some in the link below. Um, I, can't, I don't know if I can't find that exact video again, but I have come across some other ones that I recommended to family and friends um, that wanted to learn um, how to uh, use SQL and get that knowledge. So I'll definitely put that in the uh, description below on the video that I, I found the other day that's very most helpful um, to help you learn how to use SQL. Like I said, a lot of companies have started to use SQL, even in my current role with the current company I work with, we use SQL a lot, mainly for like usernames or you know making sure data is not stuck. Because um, a lot of times, if you're working in the in a position where you have to update a password or unlock a username, you're using update statements. So basically, you're like updating where username equals no to X, Y, and Z, whatever it is for your company. So that's going to be another gem. Um, so yeah, so training. So Udemy, Code Academy, and YouTube University. I would definitely check out those three. Those will be my top three that I recommend to use if you're trying to get that um, experience. Because a lot, sometimes some jobs, they will question you. So like when you're doing an interview, they'll ask you like, hey, what do you know? Or they'll ask you questions like, okay, so in this scenario, you know, you have this table, how would you find X, Y, and Z? So sometimes you have to know that because they will train you. Um, but I say training on your own because not more so in the degree um, sense, but a lot of companies are looking at people with certifications. Um, so for me, I have a I'm certified interface. I'm a cert certified Allscripts interface certification. Um, I'm a Epic, certified in Epic. And then I also have my um, CompTIA. So those are like my top three certifications that I personally have, but the more the better. Because I found out that a lot of times, a lot of companies, they're more so not really looking at the degree aspect anymore, really. They're more so looking at what certifications you hold. Because a lot of times, I've even got positions that I've had friends, or well not friends, but people that know that I apply for the same role with degrees, and here comes me with my certifications and one to two years of experience and they're going with me first because you know it's 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 not going to take as much downtime not much time with the company to train me up i just need to know learn your product and then you know just take how you all work far as your troubleshooting just go from there because i already know the language i already know the select statements update statements but each company will be different because everybody has different tables so that's another thing you'll learn when you start to get into depth uh with your sql knowledge so, number two is how to land your first gig. So me, if you know me, even in my loan signing or anything else, if anybody ever comes to me and asks me how can I find a job or I'm looking for a job, I always, always, always recommend LinkedIn. I love LinkedIn. Like I wish this video was sponsored by them. Um, but yes, I love LinkedIn. So any job I've ever had after I left AT&T when I used to work in sales, I've always got it through LinkedIn. So my tip that I recommend on that is basically go search for the company that you're interested in or the position. Look at the position. Look at other people in that same title, in that role. Look at their past experience. So sometimes if you see like, okay, so they're in the role I want to be in. They went from working at Banana Republic to, you know, computer support specialist. Um, so you, that gives you all oh, okay. So how they jump from retail to this because I see it a lot Honestly, if you look at people's profiles and where they're coming from to the position they're currently in you'll see where they came from and Nine times out of ten for me when I still look I saw more so certifications than degrees a lot of the time um, Another quick tip is at the recruiter at the recruiter of the company that you're interested in and then when you find that position inbox them all they can do is say yay nay no whatever inbox them just say hey because like i said if you show interest in a position that you really think you can do or is a position that you feel like can be the stepping stone the entry level for you to get into the career field if you really want it you'll go for it um so it'll be instances where i used to inbox recruiters but hey i see you have the open rollover i'm very interested and basically just giving your spill selling yourself on why you would be the perfect candidate for that position and nine times out of ten they will respond they like that because like i said you're taking the stress out on them on having to find somebody and then they're like, well, hey, I have this person who reached out to me who seemed interested, so let me go ahead and see what they're about or what what they're trying to accomplish uh, with this company and help me fill this role. So just that's my quick tip on that. Definitely network, network, network. 
add the recruiter, add the company, follow the company's page, add the recruiter, follow the company page, add the recruiter, follow the company's page, add the recruiter. And when you're following the company page, also read their mission statements. A lot of times I see a lot of recruiters, they love HR recruiters, whatever. They love that you already know about the company. If you just, that person is applying because you just want a job and you kind of know what the company does or you know what their whole mission is, um, then you're basically wasting your time because they can spot that out right from the get-go. Like, okay, you're just coming here trying to fill a seat. You're not trying to do nothing more than that. Just come in, bunch of, bunch of clock, and leave. No. A lot of companies these days, they're looking for more than that. They're looking to see how can you help them, how can you help them and their company grow and be successful in the future because, like I said, it's the Hunger Games out here right now. So, definitely add the company that you're interested in on LinkedIn and follow them. If you don't have a LinkedIn page, it's never too late to create one. Just create one. I'm pretty sure your friends, your family, they all have pages. They all have been networking as well on LinkedIn. So definitely check that out. Um, like I said, network, network, network. And then also friends of friends. Sometimes friends or family member or friends or friend. Tell them you're looking. Tell them you're interested. Because you never know, know. You never know who they know. Because a lot of times I have friends who found positions or companies just off people they know. Another quick tip. So my last tip on this, like I said, I didn't want to make this long. I, a lot of people have been asking me about how to get into the field because they know like me, I don't have a degree, um, college degree in, uh, like I said, in tech, computer science, I have none of that. But I've been in this field, this industry for uh, six, seven years now. I can't pinpoint because I did like tech tech support way back when, but I really don't consider that. Well, okay, I worked for a cable company. So I was the guy you would call in like, hey, my cable box is not working. And I would do the reset, press the button on the back. Well, I did that many moons ago. That was like my first job when I was like 18, 19, blah, blah, blah. But that's neither here nor there. Back to the main video. Um, so another thing is a lot of companies right now, they're not even, it's a lot of big companies. So I know Google, Apple, Google, Apple, and I feel like Starbucks was on that list. I feel like my old neighbor that lives, used to live down the hall from me, he works for Starbucks. He used to, he, now I know he did something IT related and I know he doesn't have a college degree. So definitely go check out Google. All I have to do is type in um, companies that, companies, IT, no college degree, and a whole list of them come up. Because like I said, nowadays a lot of companies, especially Google, because Google, has a, and I put that in the description below, Google has a free platform where you can actually get certifications and you can use that. So when you go apply for a job, you can go like, hey, I already know X, Y, and Z. I took the certification course that you all offer and I'm certified. So definitely, I'll definitely put that in the link in the description below for you guys to check out as well. Google, I know they are a really big company about that, about not having a college degree, but like I said, in the sense that if you have a certification, That'll help you out too in the long run. Like I said, certifications are really big. Certifications are the new college degrees. Let me just put it that way. Just, just go ahead and put it out there. Certifications are the new college degrees if you are trying to get into the tech industry. Not even, you don't have to have a certification, but I'm just saying, certification is the new college degree. That's just in my opinion. That's just from my career that I've been in. Like I said, I've been in this field for seven, eight years now, so you know that's just what works for me and I'm pretty sure it works for you. I have friends where the same thing I'm telling you guys, I told two of my friends the exact same thing and one works for, one is a, he does some kind of analytical work for the Hilton, so the hotel chain, and the other one, she works for a healthcare company as well. And she does like, she's like a consultant or something. But I told them the exact same thing I'm telling you guys in this video and they're in their fields. Yes, it's gonna take some time. I know for her, it took her almost a year till she found what she really wanted and she got it. Like I said, she doesn't have a college degree. She took a couple certifications and she just kept applying, 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 networking in recruiters inboxes on LinkedIn and she finally got that interview. She smashed it, hired, and I feel like she's um feel like she has moved up twice since she's been with that company. So if you're watching this friend, I'm very proud of you. Keep up the good work. But yeah, but nevertheless, I just want to make a quick video. Just as like I said, I get asked this a lot because a lot of you know I work in this field full time. Um, it is my eight to five. Um, do I do another? People always ask me, do I see myself doing this in the long run? No. I do feel like, you know, probably in another year or so, I may switch career fields again. Um, just because I just want to try something different. Like I said, who knows? Maybe I want to get into the mortgage industry. Or maybe I want to 
um, further my loan signing journey. Um, I don't know yet, but we'll see. That's part of life, you don't know. You just show up and you just move with it, you know? But yeah, so I just wanna make this quick video. Like I said, like I said, I hope those tips help. Uh, please let me know, please give this video a thumbs up. Please like, share, and subscribe. And comment below if you like this video. If you wanna see more of these, or if you want me to go more into depth on my IT, IT career tech journey, whatever you wanna call it, definitely let me know in the comments below and I will keep these videos moving. But like I said, I just wanna make this quick video because like I said, a lot of you, if you follow me because of my loan signing journey, you know, like I said, I do this, I work in IT full time and then part time, I'm a loan signing agent and also I'm a content creator, AKA YouTuber. Um, so definitely, like I said, like this video, share, comment, let me know if you really liked it, if you enjoyed it. Like I said, hopefully if you have any family, friend, mem friend, members family i can't talk today if you have any family or friends who are interested in this career like i said point them to this video like i said just you know i literally that's the same thing i've done to get into this field and i've shared with several of my friends the exact same the exact same thing i'm telling you i told them and they're where they want to be so like i said definitely like share subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video bye